Okay, so you know how when you start a job and then you realise after pretty much going beyond the point of no, no return that you shouldn't have started it at all? Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I've done here. I've removed the rubber floor rubber, rubber floor carpets and uh, we have uh, but, uh, the plating over the top of the crossbeam is worn away there. Um, I'm, I don't think it's a particularly serious problem, I don't think. It's not as if it's... But uh, it will need to address at some point. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to clean up in here, just get all the stuff out. I uh, haven't found anything particularly interesting, mind you. Um, got, what have we got here? We've got a safety pin. We have, what, I think that's one of the things you take, use to take a CD player out, isn't it? And uh, a clip of some sort here, a wee bulldog type clip, I guess. Um, there you go. But nothing particularly interesting, just wee bits here and there. Uh, a couple of these type of clips. I'm trying to I'm trying to just look and see where they came from, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to blast it in our cells there with uh, the rust blocker stuff. Get as much of it crammed in there as possible. Just check everything else out, get it tidied up, and then get it reassembled, and then worry about that later. Um, okay, right, let's get started then. Thanks guys. Okay, so I've tidied, the, I've tidied all the, the debris out, if you like, and uh, I've then given a coat of the, the really, well not really rusty, but the bits that were starting to rust, I've start, I've uh, painted with Hammerite Blue, which was a pretty close match, uh, I thought, but it was a bit lighter, and because I'm only retentive, I then sprayed over it with the correct colour, <laughs> and, um, and it looks really, really tidy, so I'm really, really happy, because um, that's what makes people with OCD happy. Um, but there you go. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. Uh, apart from that little bit, but I've sprayed over it just now, and to be honest, it's at a cross beam. It's not causing any problems or anything. So uh, I'm doing a welding course this summer. So once I've done that, I'm I'm going to attempt to. I think that's a good place to try and uh, form a new piece and weld it in myself. Uh, so there you go. Um, I think that's a good bit of practice. So thanks very much for watching guys, I've got the, the rubber mats out there, I was going to wash the rubber mats but I don't want to be introducing I want to be introducing moisture because uh, I don't know that I've necessarily got enough time to dry it as, as, as uh, thoroughly as it requires to be dried. So I'm just going to hoover both sides of it and uh, stick it back in. Uh, I need two new screws for these bits here because I had to remove them because they were rusted. Uh, I need two new screws the right size but apart from that... Um, yeah, I'm going gangbusters. I'm really, really happy. I've never seen that wee bit of foam there before, um, but it's got it there. So, I'm, you know, I'm really happy. I've sprayed the inner cells with the rust blocker stuff, hammer right there, and then sprayed over the correct colour. So it looks fantastic. Really pleased. Okay, so I have the the rubber mats back in, and uh, I'm really quite pleased with uh, how it looks. And uh, obviously, you don't see the rubbish down the inside of there anymore and uh, I can be satisfied that I know what's going on under the under the carpet. I'm, as I say, I'm generally really really pleased with it apart from this little bit here but uh, I mean that shouldn't be too much problem for somebody to, to or myself to do at some point. I mean I'm not too worried about it now so I've just painted it up for just now. I can always grind it back and, uh, and redo it so I'm not too worried about that at the moment, but uh, at least I know now, you know what I'm saying, at least I know what's going on. Um, two, uh, one of the screws was missing, um, and um, two of them were so stripped that uh, basically I had to remove them by force. Um, so I need three of the right scr size screws, but I'm going to take them to screw, take the ones I have to screw fix tomorrow, uh, and get some which are r roughly the same size, I'm not too fussed if they're not completely you know the right the right sort of size but if they're if they're roughly there then that's good enough for me at the moment as i need two there and uh one up there this is actually broken but i've got a spare in the shed so when i've got the another screw the other screw i'm going to fit that the the replacement one there um that little bit at the end of the trim i had to bend it ever so slightly just to just to try and get access to the rusted in screw which was there but um you know, I'm not too fussed about it at the moment, uh, and the, the, the ten pounds gets my new one off of Parts World, so it just depends how much, how far I want to go with it. But at the moment, I'm just going to put the seats back in 
and, and call that a day at that. So I'm really pleased with today's work. Thank you for watching, and once again, please like, share, and subscribe if you have if you've got this far through the video.